Hi everyone and welcome to our Wednesday encouragement. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm encouraged that the COVID restrictions are beginning to be lifted more broadly. Uh, last week, the governor announced that masking and distancing restrictions are being lifted for those who are vaccinated. Uh, group size limitations have been expanded and he said he expects to lift most of the rest of the COVID restrictions by next week. So in light of that, we are lifting the mask restrictions for those who've been vaccinated. Uh, we're still going to have our distancing guides in place for a little while since that doesn't cover everyone, but we're following the governor's guidelines. And so if you're vaccinated, you won't need to wear a mask when you come. Uh, it's pretty amazing when you think about it that a year ago, we were still unable to meet in person and we were just trying to get testing for COVID widely available. And now we've had a vaccine out long enough that everyone who wants it is able to get it. And that's, that's an incredible blessing from God we should be grateful for. Our preschool class has started during our worship hour and we'll be starting back with junior church for grades K through five on June 6th. And we're excited about that. Uh, June 6th is also the day we'll be celebrating our 2021 graduates. Uh, if you have a child or a grandchild who's part of Cherry Avenue is graduating from high school or college, please contact the office and let us know as soon as possible so that we can include them in that. Uh, don't forget about our church-wide time of prayer on Sundays at 9.30 a.m. for those of you who aren't able to be with us in person. Uh, we lift our voices together in prayer from wherever we are, and we want you to be a part of it. Uh, if you need a prayer guide, there's one on our website you can download anytime. You know, there's a lot of bad news in the world, and there are a lot of examples of people doing things that range from the horrific, such as beating and killing people, to the simply selfish, like we saw last week with the gas shortage. Yeah. And this doesn't even cover the folks trying to fill up plastic bags or my personal favorite, the laundry basket, the perforated laundry basket. So it's nice when something doing something kind, not to mention smart, actually makes the news. How many of you had times when you were in school where lunch was awkward at best and dread inducing at worst? Maybe your friends had a different lunch time and you had to try to find a spot with people you didn't know, some of whom could be pretty tribal and would tell you to move on. Or maybe you had to eat lunch alone a lot. You know, I moved around a lot growing up and it always seemed like I was the new kid. Now, I'm an introvert and I'm very comfortable eating alone or going to events alone now. But you know, when you're in school, it's very awkward not being part of a group. And lunchtime can be one of the most awkward times of the day. I remember a couple of schools I went to where I absolutely dreaded lunchtime because of this. Well, Natalie Hampton went through that, being turned away when she asked if she could sit with others at their lunch table. And she had also been subject to a lot of bullying in her junior high days. So as a high school junior, she did something positive in response. She created an app called Sit With Us. The app lets kids become lunch table ambassadors posting available seating on the app so kids could use their phones to find a welcoming group of people to eat with and hopefully make some new friends in the process. Uh, the app is free and it's being used by students in schools all over to help kids actually enjoy their lunchtime instead of dreading it. Now, I don't know if Natalie is a person of faith or not, but this is a very Christ-like approach to the problem. Jesus told us to, to do to others as we would have them do to us. He told us to love one another as he loved us. The Apostle Paul put that in practical terms by telling us to be kind and compassionate to one another. Looking around at those who might be overlooked or mistreated or lonely and treating them with kindness and care is incredibly Christ-like. Jesus spent a lot of time with people who his culture looked down on and or treated poorly. Whether it was tax collectors, people living in sinful lifestyles, lepers or foreigners, he not only showed people that he cared about them even when others didn't, but he showed them grace and taught them truth in a kind and loving way. Jesus said in Matthew 25, truly I tell you, whatever you did for the one of the least of these brothers or sisters of mine, you did for me. Jesus was on the lookout for one's others overlooked, and that's what he wants from us. 
And so I encourage you to be like Natalie. You don't have to develop an app, thank goodness, but ask God to help you develop the mindset that you're going to be on the lookout for the overlooked so you can show them the love of Christ. And when we do that, Jesus says, it's as if we're doing it for him directly.